Hi everyone, today I'm sharing my go-to-mark apps that supercharge my productivity and development workflow. Whether you are a coder, creator or just love efficiency, these tools may just become your new favorite shoe. So let's dive in. And first up, the Raycast. Okay, so this spotlight replacement is a powerhouse instant app launching, quick calculation, uh, clipboard history, even integration like Spotify controls, uh, GitHub. Also, I have some uh, shortcuts. For example, let's search for advanced here. And first, I'm going to go to general. And as you can see, for the hotkey, I use the command space, text size, large system for the appearance and also compact here now on now on the advanced for the hyper key i have chosen here the caps lock i find this uh, key the most used one and also here i have toggled the caps lock with quick press so if you want also the cap lock works the uppercase your uh, keys but with this now on the extension or you can work with that for many things but for for example on the applications i have here the arc browser which also this is my daily browser i have added a hotkey for this one which is the caps lock and letter a to open this also for other applications like a ghostly ghostly terminal or google chrome uh, OBS as you can see here and so on. Also you can uh, customize the Windows management using uh, Raycast. Okay I'm going to close this. The second one let's start with uh, Arc browser. The only browser I use now is sleek, uh, fast and everything. Tab management. Love the speed screen for research and space to separate uh, work or personal browsing plus uh, minimal design so if i open i have a shortcut for that caps lock and the uh, letter a and yeah here i have the browser now as i told you i have created some uh, workspaces so you can create workspaces to group of the websites you're looking for so for example here i have worked also you can create uh, folders as you can see uh, also you can pin some uh, web application like I have done here with uh, YouTube, Gmail, uh, X, Blue Sky and so on. And then you can navigate through the workspaces. So here for example I have different web applications. Also as, is, as I told you, you can create folders and group all the related websites here. So on the Laravel for example I have added Laravel documentation, uh, Laracast code course and Laravel daily and here also I have the creator hub which I have created a folder only for the AI for DeepSeek, ChatGPT and Gemini. Okay you can customize how you want. Now let's close this and for terminals uh, I juggle two warps modern field and AI command suggestion are perfect for coding when I want simplicity, ghosty, yes, it's ghosty, so delivers distraction, freeze zen, and both make CLI work a breeze. Next up is Notion. Notion is my uh, brain second home. From uh, meeting notes to sprint planning, its templates uh, and relation databases keep everything organized. So here I have, for example, my productivity hub and also finance tracker. Here I have some navigation for uh, quick links, quick action also here, areas, and here I use the para method if you have heard about that. Okay, let's close also this one. Now for uh, recording the screen, I use uh, OBS and also, let me just show you. So I use OBS and also the Screen Studio. Now, now Screen Studio makes pro tutorials uh, effortlessly with zoom effects and automatic editing but for live streams or granular control. OBS is my pick. Now let's start with the coding. Now for coding I use uh, VS Code which is my MVP with its extension. But also Cursor, a fork with built-in AI. 
also I have uh, yeah a VS Code cursor also I have WebStorm now as you can see I have here a bunch of uh, browsers but the my daily one and the most used is Arc then for the Laravel development I use Herd also alongside with DB Engine and Table Plus DB Engine for database management because Herd I am in the free version not the pro one also uh, I have Docker here Docker for my uh, mostly most project I work with Docker but every time I create uh, YouTube videos for Laravel I use Herd and for uh, video editing I use DaVinci Resolve alongside with uh, CapCut both of them I think I'm are very good now also you I use uh, Google Drive and Ina which is for playing uh, videos okay yeah also I have this Zen browser another browser I have many browsers here but as I told you Arc is my best choice also Zen browser is my second one and as you can see this one is almost like a Arc browser and I have uh, modified this as you can see I have customized I have some more wor workspaces here uh, some applications here pin at the top and yeah we have also on this one sh some shortcuts one thing I don't like here is uh, with the Zen we cannot use the pass keys and I make a search on that and I find that uh, is a it's not fixed maybe he's working on that but I I see many people have issues with that so that's all for this video my apps I use mostly and uh, what apps do you swear by drop them below and if you enjoy this smash subscribe thanks for watching and see you next time